Hi, this is Alan McCagliano, Associate Professor of History at Campbell University, former Merchant Mariner and an instructor in maritime industry policy. And welcome to this episode of What's Going On With Shipping? Why is Ever Given Stopped in the Mediterranean? So I've been getting lots of questions about this. Uh, Motor Vessel Ever Given, as we all know, departed from Egypt not too long ago, finally released after being held there for over 100 days by the Egyptians. And now she's sitting there basically drifting just east of Syracuse, just south of the very uh, southern tip there, the, 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 the tip of the boot of Italy. And the question is, why is she doing that? Why is she basically just sitting there and not proceeding on to her next port, which is going to be Rotterdam? So there's a lot of things at play right here that, that's going on. You'll see right here, this is the marine traffic showing her right there off of Syracuse. Uh, you'll see her status has stopped. She's basically drifting right now. Uh, if we look at her past track right here, pull it up there. She's basically not moving. Basically just been sitting there kind of uh, hove to off Syracuse and, and really not doing much more than that. Uh, you'll see right here, her ETA is coming into Rotterdam on July 25th. That's what she lists as her ETA right now. She departed from Suez uh, on uh, July 7th. And there's a lot of stories going on right now. So let's explain what's going on here. So first off, here's the Splash 24-7 story. Evergreen drops uh, Evergiven's Hamburg call. So she was slated to finish up her original delivery. Her original delivery had her going to her original ports, Rotterdam, Felix Stowe, and Hamburg. But as we've seen here now, the, the transit to Hamburg has been canceled. And we'll go into uh, the, the statement here by Evergreen. While Evergiven is en route to her destination ports in Europe, the vessel needs to follow the guidance outlined in her seaworthiness certificate to sail at lower speeds and the call only at Rotterdam and Felixstowe. Company said it's coordinating with the terminal operators. Uh, there's an issue here with getting into Hamburg. So there's concern surrounding navigation of the vessel into Hamburg. So when she got out of the Great Bitter Lake, she anchored off of Port Said. And she had to undergo a survey again, another hull survey to determine whether or not she was capable of ocean transit. And this is to ensure basically for the insurance company, for the, for the hull and machinery, to make sure that the vessel is seaworthy. And based on the survey of the vessels, they've put some, some restrictions on her. This is from G Captain, but what I want to show you is the picture from G Captain. This is ever given heading northbound out of the Great Bitter Lake. And one of the things that it, it's kind of hard for you to notice here, but it's, it, it's, it's, it's there, is she's listing a bit to port here. She has suffered some damage, we know that. And we can see her heading out right there. She's down by the bow. Uh, we know she took grounding damage forward. She took grounding damage aft. And she's very limited in her speed and how fast she can go. We haven't seen her top it over 10 knots on her voyage so far. This is her heading north. Uh, you'll also notice that she has line stripes from her. This is way tugs can grab her just in case. But th that was her leaving the Suez at the time. Uh, this report from Lodestar talks about it even more. Evergreen releases slow sailing Evergreen's port, uh, port call itinerary. So right here, the vessel's departure from the Suez Canal region on 7 July is expected the first port of call Rotterdam's Delta Terminal on 28 July to discharge cargo, including transshipment boxes, before leaving for the port's Euromax terminal, where on 2 August, it will discharge Hamburg-bound cargo for transshipment. A day later, day later, the vessel will call at Felixstowe to discharge cargo for the UK and transship cargo bound for Hamburg. So that's basically her itinerary right now as she's going. But again, what we're seeing here is uh, basically a slowdown in the vessel. The vessel does not need to be on berth until much later. And that's one of the reasons why she is basically slowed down. Plus high winds and weather right now in the Western Mediterranean, and more importantly, out in the Atlantic, is going to preclude her from heading out to sea. Now you can make the question, why does she go and anchor somewhere? I think there's a couple of reasons here that's not in any of these stories. Uh, we're talking about here with, with the Lodestar story. They don't really talk too much. And here's Ever Given. Again, this is the story that came out. This is from the Bloomberg story. A scale of future litigation against vessel owners was laid bare at a London court hearing Tuesday where lawyers won a court order to put any potential claims on hold for two months. Two subsidiaries of Shoei Kisan Keisha, the, the container vessel's owner in Evergreen, 
conglomerate that operated under a long-term charter has asked a London judge for a stay. Earlier this year, they obtained another order litigating some claims against the ship to 84 million pounds, 116 million pounds. I don't think they want to anchor in territorial waters of anyone for fear of being arrested again. So she is not going to basically give that opportunity until she gets into, into Rotterdam. Even though in this case, uh, she's been released and she's heading out now, she's going to basically stay at sea. I don't think they want to come any close than they have to, to land and stay out. So what you see here is the vessel kind of hanging out here off offshore, uh, well beyond territorial limits, the 12 mile line. She's going to stay right here and then she'll proceed on. No reason to burn fuel if you don't need to. She can just run on her diesels right now and just, just generate power. And this is a far enough out of the way spot here. If we put on the density map there, there, there's not a lot of sailing you see right here coming in. Just not a lot of traffic in this area. So she doesn't have to worry about being in a main traffic line. She's basically just out of the way right now. And that's going to be key for her. That's really going to be the key thing. Uh, when she gets into Hamburg, she's going to transship over to the Ever U Util. Uh, here she is. Uh, Ever, here's Ever Given right here. You can see her right here. Ever Util is, is basically heading right now for Antwerp. She just left Piraeus on July 15th. She's due to be in Antwerp on July 22nd. She'll go. She's a smaller vessel. I think, I think she's about 5,000 TEU is what was reported and 5,652 TEU. She'll pick up the containers that were earmarked to go to Hamburg. That's a day sail for her out of Antwerp. And they'll be able to get that off. And I think that's the big issue that you're seeing here. So one of the reasons, it, I don't think there's anything wrong with Ever Given. There's been no report of anything wrong with her. I think they're just really concerned about the insurance issues. Now she could be arrested as soon as she comes into basically Rotterdam, but she'd be in a better position to be in Rotterdam. At least she's in a terminal. She can get the containers off. We haven't seen anything yet about where she's going for her yard work. Uh, there's options for that. Uh, Ireland, uh, Germany, Spain, France, all have dry docks that can accommodate a 400 meter, 1300 foot long vessel. The question is going to be is, is where they'll be able to basically get a, a a slot in there to basically get the time in there. Uh, but again, one of the things that Ever Given is, is really facing is this death by a thousand cuts, these thousands of legal claims that'll be going against them. Remember, every basically everyone who is late getting their cargo on birth, there were 400 vessels that were delayed because of Ever Given's grounding. They can file basically reimbursement costs against the p and i club the uk p and i club for reimbursement again we have not gotten a clear delineation of what caused the grounding uh we don't know what ever given uh or excuse me evergreen and shoshi kisan kaisha signed with the suez canal authority did they did they agree to 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 uh take basic culpability in the grounding. We don't know because that agreement is quiet. We haven't seen it. Uh, we don't know how much they paid. It's somewhere between 150 and $550 million. We don't know. But the fact that they paid money is also an indication. So Evergiven is going to basically lay low right now until she has to be on birth. And right now what we're looking for her to get on birth is on 28 July. So, you, I mean, you're talking 11 days uh, from now for her to get on the Delta terminal there at Rotterdam. And so uh, you, you've got time for that. And then she'll go on to Felix Stowe uh, to discharge uh, containers on 2 August. Uh, and it's at Felix Stowe. She'll discharge the cargo for the UK and transship cargo bound for Hamburg. She'll take her containers off, put them on the ground, and every util will come in and take them on uh, to Hamburg. So we'll have to wait and see uh, what happens. Right now, she's just basically in a holding pattern, sitting there. Uh, it's a nice spot. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good. You're in, the, you're in the lee of, of Sicily right there in southern Italy. Uh, it's not a bad spot to be in uh, to do it. If you get out in the uh, eastern Mediterranean here, it can get a little bit rougher. There's a lot of traffic that runs between Gibraltar, this, this uh, straight to Sicily, and just south of Sicily. So she's, she's off on a corner right there. Uh, it's a good little spot to be in to kill some time. 
believe me, I think this crew would much rather be floating around out in the middle of the ocean than at anchor in the Great Bitter Lake. They've had that experience for a long time. They don't want to have that experience again. And most importantly, they don't want to be arrested again. So uh, I think you'll see them start uh, slow steaming out once they're ready. Uh, like I said, they have not been going very fast, and that's probably due to the hull damage of the vessel. So anyway, quick little update on Ever Given and what's going on with her. And if we hear anything more, we'll be sure to fill you in. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoy updates on shipping, and we've got a lot more videos coming out on that, be sure to click subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Uh, like button so that it'll be shared across Facebook. It's really important to do that because that's how we get more attention for the channel. Uh, be sure to hit the bell so they'd be alerted about new videos when they come out. And until our next episode of What's Going On with Shipping, this is Sal signing off.